In this lesson, we will explore the unit circle and reference triangles using Desmos.com. The unit circle is a circle with a radius of one unit. The trigonometric functions can be defined using the unit circle with the center at the origin. If the angle theta is sketched in standard position and the terminal side of the angle intersects the unit circle at the point x comma y, then cosine theta is equal to x and sine theta is equal to y. And therefore it follows that tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, secant theta is equal to the reciprocal of cosine theta, which is equal to one divided by x, cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta, which is equal to one divided by y, and then finally cotangent theta is equal to the reciprocal of tangent theta, which is equal to x divided by y. And we have a nice image of the unit circle pictured here in the upper right hand corner. And now let's explore the unit circle with reference triangles using Desmos.com. You can find the file I'm going to show by searching online for Desmos unit circle with reference triangles or by using the URL listed here in the lower right hand corner. In this activity, we will be considering the angles from zero to 360 degrees or from zero to two pi radians. We'll begin by looking at the angles that will give us a reference angle and reference triangle of 30 degrees in each quadrant. So notice how if we sketch pi over six radians or 30 degrees in standard position, the terminal side is a hypotenuse of this reference triangle where the reference angle and reference triangle is 30 degrees. If we sketch five, six pi radians or 150 degrees, we have a 30 degree reference angle and reference triangle in the second quadrant. If we sketch seven, six pi radians or 210 degrees, in standard position. We have a reference angle and reference triangle of 30 degrees in the third quadrant. And then finally, if we sketch 11 sixth pi radians or 330 degrees in standard position, we have a 30 degree reference angle and reference triangle in the fourth quadrant. So if we take a look at the x and y coordinates of these four points on the unit circle, the only differences are the signs. In the first quadrant, x and y are positive and therefore the cosine and sine function values are positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive, and therefore the cosine function value is negative and the sine function value is positive. In the third quadrant, both x and y are negative, and therefore both the cosine and sine function values are negative. And then in the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative, and therefore the cosine function value is positive and the sine function value is negative. And now let's take a look at the reference angles and reference triangles of 45 degrees. If you sketch pi over four radians or 45 degrees, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 45 degrees in the first quadrant where both X and Y are positive. Also notice how the reference triangle is an isosceles right triangle and therefore the X and Y values are the same, which means the cosine and sine function values are also the same. If we sketch three fourths pi radians, or 135 degrees, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 45 degrees in the second quadrant where the x value is negative. If we sketch 5 fourths pi radians or 225 degrees, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 45 degrees in the third quadrant where both x and y are negative. And if we sketch 7 fourths pi radians or 315 degrees in standard position, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 45 degrees in the fourth quadrant. And then finally, let's take a look at the reference angles and reference triangles of 60 degrees. If we sketch pi over three radians or 60 degrees, we have a 60 degree reference angle and reference triangle in the first quadrant. If we sketch two thirds pi radians or 120 degrees, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 60 degrees in the second quadrant. If we sketch 4 thirds pi radians or 240 degrees, we have a reference angle and reference triangle of 60 degrees in the third quadrant. And finally, if we sketch 5 thirds pi radians or 300 degrees in standard position, we have a reference angle or reference triangle of 60 degrees in the fourth quadrant. The other angles we often use to find the trig function values for on the unit circle would be the quadrantal angles, or the angles where the terminal sides lie along the x or y axes. So for example, zero degrees or zero radians would have the terminal side along the positive x axis, 
where x is 1 and y is 0, and in degrees or pi over 2 radians would have the terminal side along the positive y-axis, where x is 0 and y is 1. 180 degrees or pi radians would have the terminal side along the negative x-axis, where x is negative 1 and y is 0. And finally, 270 degrees or 3 halves pi radians would have the terminal side along the negative y-axis, where x is 0 and y is negative 1. So I think this Desmos tool can be very helpful when first learning the unit circle and reference triangles to determine trig function values. I hope you found this helpful.